Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can never struggle to get stock again. So this is just kind of something I that's kind of manifested or developed itself on its own through my own experience. So um, obviously it might not work as well for you. It, it might be something more personal to me. I'm not sure, but this, is, this works for me and maybe it will work for you as well. So basically there's three C's that I go off. So calendar, contacts and consistency. So what I mean by that, and this, the calendar situation, we'll focus on that first, is something that really only started about eight to ten months ago, something like that. Um, and what I did was on the calendar, the main family calendar in there, I would I'd go online and I'd get all the car boot dates that I could, that I could find online. I'd do a lot of digging online, looking at different sites, uh, looking at sort of uh, town websites that set that have a list of events for the year or whatever, and I'd scroll down and see in which of my local towns had, um, you know, car boots on in certain dates. So, um, it, you know, it was it's a lot of work, but what I would do is I would do that and I'd put all the car boots on the calendar, and then I'd do, uh, for example, auctions. I'd go, I'd, I'd look at like my local auction houses, and then put all of those dates on the calendar if they do have a list of the full dates for the full year. Now, what you're probably saying is, well, that's all well and good, but you might not be able to find the information online, and that is true. I've come across the problem of, let's say, I did it this year actually in January, and I'm going to do that at the start of every year now. But what I did this year in January was do all this digging online and I couldn't find specific dates for certain auctions because um, the auction calendar only goes up to July and obviously in, you know, in June or something like that, they're going to update it with the next half of the year date. So, you know, there's kind of, you can't do it all in one go sometimes. Sometimes you have to just keep checking on these different websites and then keep adding to your, the dates to your calendar. Uh, a similar situation that I found in January this year when I was doing it was I couldn't find any of the one-off dates. Or, well, I did find one, but I couldn't find many of the one-off dates for car boots. So around my local area, uh, there's a place called Verdin Park, and that has about three one-off car boots each year. And uh, last year, I know the dates, uh, you know, I knew the dates and all that, and I wrote them on the calendar. But this year, because it's so early and it's only a small website, you know, it's just the Northwich uh, Town website, they've not updated it with those, you know, with those car boots on there. So what I've kind of done from that is I've looked at last year's car boots and I've put on the calendar uh, Verdin car boot or whatever it is and then just question mark and then put, you know, query it obviously. So, you know, I'm going to have to do that later on, but later on in the year, but it's a great start if you if you put all these things on your calendar, then you can build up a kind of a uh, a stock getting network, if you like, a, a kind of a, a stock getting calendar or graph or whatever you want to call it. And you know that every month, let's say, uh, let's say this month for me, February, I've not looked on the calendar, but let's say this month for me, I've got two auctions or three auctions and I've got four car boot possibilities. I haven't because it's February. I've probably only got about two car boot possibilities. But if I've got four car boot po possibilities and I've got two or three auctions, then I know I've got a good consistent um, you know, a consistent source of stock throughout the entire month. I can go to each car boot on the Sunday for four weeks and I can do the, the auctions in between. And on top of that, which I don't put on the calendar because there's not really any need to, I've got charity shop runs. And on top of that, moving on to my next point, contacts. So on top of that, on top of all the stuff that I've mapped out on the calendar for getting stock, I've got um, just sort of spontaneous people ringing me up out of the blue or, you know, I'm talking to people in charity shops or whatever and they say they've got some stuff and it's uh, contacts come in. So, actually, last month was a great example of that. I have two contacts that I regularly get stock from and I know personally. So, I, you know, I meet them and all that sort of stuff because what I used to do is I had about two or three, or maybe even four or five actually, contacts that I didn't know, 
um, that would send me stuff, you know, post the stuff out for me in relation to video games. Um, but these two people in particular that I got stuff on last month, um, I know personally, I've met, I've gone to their houses, I've collected stuff that way. And um, they just rang me up out of the blue. Well, actually, one of them didn't ring me up. I actually went to the charity shop and spoke to him. But the other um, lady actually rang me up and said, look, I've got this Lego, da 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 And that was completely spontaneous, added on to all the extra stuff that I put on the calendar. So you see how this builds up. One, you know, And if you had like five contacts, or you had ten contacts, and you're in the height of summer, and you've got eight or nine car boot possibilities because there's two car boots running every weekend, and you've got charity shops, and you've got, what was the other thing, auctions as well, and you've got two or three auctions, and then you can expand it even further if you're willing to travel further, because if you're willing to travel further, you've got even more car boot possibilities, you've got jumble sales, which I've not even mentioned, you've got uh, more scope for auctions, you could, maybe if you expend, extend your journey for 30 miles or something, maybe you've got six auction houses to choose from, or whatever it is, so, you know, it, it, it can just, it exponentially grows, and again, with regards to contacts, if we're looking at this, uh, you know, this actual point, um, with contact, if you get talking to more and more people down at the car boot sale, or in the charity shops or wherever, you start to build up more and more contact, uh, contacts and then it just grows and grows and grows. So you can see what I mean, how if you, if you do this if you do this strategy and you really uh, stick with it, then it can just grow massive and you can just be like, oh my god, I'm getting too much stock. And that's where I'm at now. I'm like, oh my god, I've got about, I mean, I literally cop. I can't go out of the house without getting something, that's how, you know, I just go down to my local charity shop, which is one charity shop, and I've got a bag of stuff, it, it's just crazy, the level of, you know, and it's all from doing, putting things on the calendar, talking to people, you know, making contacts, and then the final point we'll move on to is another C again, because it's the three C's, um, consistency, this does not come overnight, this does, you know, getting loads and loads of stock from all these different sources does not come overnight and it takes consistency. Every week, every day, going out, going out, meeting people at the car boots, talking to people, um, you know, going online, digging through loads of different websites to try and find these dates of, of obscure little car boots or jumble sales that maybe not so many other people know about or going online and trying to find, uh, you know, wholesalers or, you know, contacts in, in that way or trying to find contacts on eBay, but I tried that and once eBay put the, uh, you know, once eBay put that um, contact detail, you know, you're not allowed to send contact details through eBay anymore, that buggered all that up, so anyway, but you could used to find contacts through eBay and it would be cool, um, but yeah, so... There's all these different things, and you have to be consistent. That's the final point. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish on that point. Consistency. You're not gonna get stop. You're not gonna ever get enough stop if you're not consistent. But if you're consistent and you use it in conjun conjunction with trying to get contacts and being social and talking to different people, and you use it in conjunction with um, you know, looking for car boots, looking for auction houses, looking for all these, you know, jumble sales and things like that, and then putting them on your calendar and sort of being religious with those dates and going down there and having the consistency to just go down there week after week on all these car boots on the calendar that you've wrote down, or all these auctions on the calendar that you've wrote down. I can assure you, you will at least get something doing, you know, really working at these three points because that's where I'm at now, and it's taken me a long time, don't get me wrong, it's taken me a long time to, for one, actually identify these three things, and for two, actually really hone them down and make them work for me. So, yeah, you know, it might work for you, it might not work for you as well, but it's all about using these three things in conjunction with each other, and just really trying and being consistent and getting out there that's the that's the biggest thing really so yeah i will leave it there guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video